Hey guys, yesterday was Neptune flight day in the UK and Lacius Nidra and Lacius Flavis were flying everywhere across the country. It slowly moved its way up from the south of England, it started making its way up to the north and this uh, this Lacius Nidra nest on the back of my house here was flying the Neptune flights so I grabbed my camera and got some live footage of catching the Queen Ants. Uh, for some people, uh, flying ant days people don't like it they think ants are pests but for us ant keepers it's a very special day so guys stay tuned for this exciting video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you so guys before I started catching the ants early that day I gave Alicia's Niger colony some honey outside in the back garden as you can see they're really really enjoying the honey here uh, before I began obviously I went and grabbed uh, my box of test tube setups it was very exciting I, I rushed actually at the time I was in the live stream I was chatting to the viewers and I turned to my left to look out of my window and I was like whoa flying ants guys flying ants and I was just like spamming it in the live stream chat and I said I'm gonna have to go uh, there is flying ants everywhere guys I need to go and get some so obviously I got my uh, test tubes and I went outside and started looking for some flying ants. There was a nest on the back of my house here. Uh, I couldn't get the camera to focus on the nest, but you could see that there's hundreds and hundreds of ants and workers pushing out elates uh, to fly. Now this flying ant here was one of the first ones I found and this was caught up on a spider's web and being attacked by a spider. So I um, knocked it off the web, killed the spider, and thought I could hopefully recover this ant and when I got her into the test tube setup she had some web stuck around the back legs um, she, I thought she was going to make a recovery but unfortunately uh, the venom from the spider's bite must have took its um, toll on her and she passed away a few minutes later so I ended up releasing her back outside into a uh, plant pot unfortunately she didn't make it but then I uh, went back outside again and I seen this uh, these male and female here they were hooked together and I was watching them fly and they flew straight into a garden pot which was full of water so they started drowning um, so I quickly scooped them up and got them in the test tube setup I'm not exactly sure if that male's still alive though I haven't checked up on them recently as you can see guys I don't know if you can see it but um, there was just ants flying everywhere it was very very exciting for me I'm um, sorry about the mess of my garden it, it's it needs a good cleaning up but it was really really fun now this cheeky um, queen ant <laughs> it flew and whacked my arm and then <laughs> landed on the window so I was like oh another queen now the thing is like everyone might think that most of these queens that still have wings are not fertile but however I have raised a lot of um, Lacius Nidra colonies in the past with queens that have wings that's probably because what tends to happen is when they fly in the air with the males they mate basically straight away within the first minute or so and then they separate once they've separated the queen tends to try to land somewhere to find a new, herself a new home um, sometimes she'll find a home and then remove her wings or sometimes she'll land remove her wings and then find a home um, so what I was just going around scooping up any um, flying ants that I could see that had landed on the floor or anywhere around uh, my property um, that was the one that didn't survive the spider bite as you can see here I just I felt really sorry for her so I just um, released her into the pot in the garden but anyway guys I was catching queens like there was no tomorrow I mean I think I got at the end of the day I ended up getting about maybe 24 25 26 27 something like that uh, I checked up on them today they're all doing really really well um, they've some of them have started laying eggs already which I'm really surprised and some of the queens have actually uh, at their wings so it, it's looking up it's looking good I'm gonna keep some of them for myself and probably sell some of them later on in like maybe four or five months when maybe after winter when they've got their first workers I'll probably sell some on then um, but I do plan on keeping some because 
the Lacius Nigra colonies that I had before are no longer alive so I want a Lacius Nigra colony um, up and running but as you can see guys here I was clocking up the numbers I ended up with about four ants with it with just a few minutes so then I decided it was probably best to start loading up on test tubes and putting them in my pocket <laughs> This is a, a male on the floor here, I was just watching him, I don't know if he had mated or not, I wasn't too sure, but he was just hanging around on the floor. Uh, this queen was on one of the side walls at the back of my house, and I just couldn't get the test tube over her because she was walking behind like the drainage pipe, which is from the sink, um, so it was very difficult to get her, but eventually she um, came from under the pipe, and I got her in the test tube, and there we go, we backed and tagged another queen ant. So yeah, it was it was a fantastic day. Like some people, a lot of British people hate this day, right? You know, a lot of people complain about it, and it's like, oh, ants are pests and all this lot. But ants are very important to the ecosystem, and you know, they they help out quite a lot. Um, also, it's for for us ant keepers, it was a really 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 exciting day. You know, for us lot, we were very happy. We were all celebrating. We were all out there catching as many ants as we could. Um, there was hundreds on my front, like, but my front was so busy and there was lots of people around. So I was like, should I go out there and just start picking up ants, or are people going to start looking at me like I'm some weirdo? Um, so I just stuck to my back garden and got as many as I could. I caught two of them in my front garden so when there was nobody looking around and stuff, when there was nobody walking past I just quickly, I was watching my front window and looking for other queens and I just quickly ran out and picked up a few more queens that were on my front garden. I tried to get some footage of the ants flying around in the back garden um, I don't know if the camera was picking them up, it might have picked up a few of them, but they, they were everywhere. I only have a really, really small back garden, so I was surprised at how many were actually flying into my garden, so obviously I tried to catch as many as I could. Um, I hope the rest of you guys have had just as much fun and success as me over this uh, flying ant day in the UK. I'm going to leave the rest of the footage for you guys. Um, I'm sorry that the camera is not as professional as usual. This is because it's around my neck. I'm trying to capture ants so it's going all over the place. Um, but anyway guys, enjoy the rest of the footage. I, I think I managed to catch like 27 of them. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And comment below oh and also before I leave I have a new video coming soon of a new species that I've got maybe I'll make that today as well but I'm not too sure <laughs> anyway guys enjoy the rest of the video thank you so much I'm on UK